In today's video, we're going to go through the Unify AC in wall. This is not the HD version, but hopefully it should still be just as good of a product from Unify. We will be going through the unboxing, adopting, installation, and lastly, we'll be going through just the general overview of what I think about it. So let's get into it. All right, as you can see, we have officially unboxed the AC in wall. Uh, it kind of took it out of the package first. It's just a little bit easier off camera just to kind of get it in. So we will kind of go over the overview of kind of what's in the box and just kind of the overview of it. So uh, in in the box, it gives you the little manual, just kind of tells you how to do it. And then it's just this nice little box. This only is powered by pa or, uh, active PoE not and not passive PoE, so you can't power it through like another um, access point or anything like that has to be at least poe if not, i think if i remember poe plus so there is that so you have to keep that in mind and so here it is uh, the ac in wall it is a little small i mean it's not too bad i'd say it's maybe five inches or so kind of length and maybe uh three and a half four inches way or wide so it's not too bad um and then coming around uh it does come with this bracket uh, so this would go on to your wall um, and go into your single gang box onto the wall from your ethernet. So nice little bracket, feels pretty firm. And then this is how you power it. So um, as you can see, PoE in, uh, and data. So that's how you power it. So it just goes through the ethernet jack. And it's a nice little bracket. Uh, and then this little cover kind of comes off, uh, kind of snaps in there. I haven't unboxed it or I unboxed it completely, but um, as you can see, Unify AC in wall kind of tells you the specs, um, things like that. Uh, pretty, pretty nice unit. And then it kind of obviously comes with a nice cover there. Uh, and then it also comes with um, these two ports. And so it also, what is kind of nice about these is instead of just being an access point, it also has a uh, PoE pass-through port, which is why it also gets powered by uh, PoE um, and not like passive PoE it has to be active. And then also just a regular data port, which is probably the port that I'll be using. So all in all, I mean, it's a pretty solid um, kind of product from Unify. So not too bad. So now we will just kind of start uh, getting into the process of uh, installing it and then adopting it. And finally, kind of just the overview of what I think. So. Let's get into it. As you can see here, this is my wall plate to my wall, uh, which is I'm going to be replacing the wall plate with the backing plate for the Unify AC in wall. And as you can see, I have an RJ45 right here, which is connected to my smart TV. And then I have this coax cable that we don't really use. That's why I'm uh, getting rid of this wall plate and just going with the Unify AC in wall. And so all you do is you just take off the wall plate quick, take these out, and then we will get to the installation of it. As you can see, this is what it looks like without the wall plate on there. I have my coax cable, which we are just going to disconnect and not use anymore. And I have a keystone, and I'm going to re-terminate to get onto the back of the Unify AC in wall. And I will show you how to install the backing plate. All right, this is what it looks like after. I will be redoing this in just a little bit, but uh, yeah, not too bad. And then as you can see, I already put the Unify AC and wall kind of together just because it's a lot easier off camera, but that's already kind of looking a lot better. So right now, the last piece is the cover plate. So actually, I have it right here, and all you do is you just snap it in just snaps in just like that and right there you have a completed Unify AC in wall and yeah I will go on to my dashboard now and show you how to adopt it all right now that we have the in wall installed onto the wall and have it connected via the Ethernet to the switch it is now time to get it onto our dashboard and adopt it so now, as you can see on the screen, we are on my Unified Network. It's just a local host on my computer. So what we'll do is we'll go to the devices, and as you can see, it's already pending adoption. You click it, and you just click Adopt, and this will take 5 to 10 seconds. It goes pretty fast. Then after that, it will provision. 
and as you can see it went pretty fast and now it's in the provisioning mode which means it's just going to flash through the settings and it's just going to flash white and blue and, and things like that but after it is provisioned it is pretty much all ready to go and so as you can see it's pretty much revisioned and you have the client tab the ports you have the con or the config the tools and you can view the stats uh, here as you can see you have the poe out plus data and the data i'll most likely just be, be using the data just because i don't have a poe plus to kind of power the uh, the poe out for right now so i think this will be uh, just fine to use the data port but as you can see uh, it's i already have my access point running so it's kind of um in the middle of everything so we'll fix that later but yeah as you can see it goes pretty fast so there you go so now we will go over the overview and the speeds and see how i like it here are the speed tests these are before and after so i just wanted to show you quick the first one definitely was not good i have 500 up and about 250 down so as you can see this first one is not very good and this is just uh, a uap ac pro downstairs and it's reaching up to the second floor but the only problem is is that uh, the room that I put this in that we needed the the Wi-Fi access point is it's in addition with like f a foot wall cement walls so it definitely did not reach and as you can see in this second one it made a heck of a difference trying to connect to the Wi-Fi because yeah, it's it made a, a lot of difference. So as you can see, my impression for this access point is actually really, really good. It boosted the Wi-Fi signal a lot. So yeah, now we will go into the final review. All right, this will be the last part of the video. I'm just gonna go over some of the specs quick and share my final experiences and thoughts of it. So as you can see, we are on the Ubiquities website and I have the access point pulled up and I will talk a little bit about the specs. So I didn't, I believe I didn't talk about the specs at the first point of the video when I was showing like the unboxing, but I will show you now. So they say it can go up to a little over a gig, which up to a range of a hundred meters, which now that's if that's the perfect circumstance. And obviously you're never really going to get that in real life, but I will say that it does give you a lot of throughput and like I said in my speed test I only have about 500 up and 250 down about half and half and it got pretty close and like I said in the speed test too, uh, the room that I put it in it's in addition off to the house and it's not you cannot get really a good signal through that so that's why we had to put it the access point into that room but it still did a pretty good job and also as you can see it has an internal 802.3 AT gigabit ethernet port for data plus poe in which does help i have my computer hooked up to it and it actually gives you full uh speeds that you have from your isp so that's really really nice and it also mounts in your one gang electrical wall box so like up here it says it just kind of retrofits into it uh i do for new or retrofit installations and it's really really simple so as you can see, it is $100 for a single unit or a five pack is $480. I will say I would maybe go for the HD product access point instead of just this, um, just the standard one here. Uh, it, especially if you have more of a high density area or if you want to reach throughout your whole house. This one will do it, but you definitely will not get the speeds. So all in all, I would say all my experience would say be probably around the nine out of 10, definitely maybe a little bit, some things could maybe work out a little bit more, but I would say probably eight and a half, nine out of 10, definitely would recommend. So as of right now, I'm gonna end the video. So please subscribe if you feel like it or give it a like, or if you have any feedback, just put it down in the comments. So I will see you in another video, thanks.